For our whole newsroom, this story has been personal because our crew of Ethan Kibbe and our photographer Mike Prince were right there covering those frightening moments. But Caleb, it hits even closer to home for you because you had some family members at the rally as well. That's right, Lisa. My two aunts and uncle happened to be at this rally, but the good news is they are completely safe, but I do want to show you this photo taken by my aunt. This is where they were sitting. They said they were about maybe 20, 25 yards away from the former president taking these photos as he was walking onto the stage. But if you look at this upper right hand corner, you see this black circle. This is the vantage point of what they saw and where the shooter was set up on that rooftop. And to say that it was a close call, according to them, is an understatement. I was supposed to be at the RNC, but I dropped out and then I decided, oh, I'm going to go to the Trump rally. A decision from Mike Morris, Mio Morris and Kat Cole to attend the Butler PA Trump rally. After arriving in the early morning, they welcomed the former president to the stage hours later, taking photos just 20 yards away, but not even 10 minutes in. Look what happened. Oh. <laughs> the three of them ducking rapidly like the others. We all thought it was some kind of a firework. We knew you could feel the bullets hitting our bleachers. It got from bad to extremely worse and way too close. I saw kind of like smoke and the sound was right there. This panoramic photo taken by CAC shows their view to the left of just how close they were to the victim. How many feet away were you from the victim that was shot? About 10 feet, yeah. To their right, a clear view where authorities later identified the location of the gunman when he fired. It could have been us. Yeah. It could have been Mike because Mike was the closest one to, yeah. to the person that was shot. CAC also recording this video of the victims being attended to behind the bleachers. My hair is still sticking up on my hand. <laughs> I'm still in shock. It happened so quick that yeah. they reacted as fast as they yeah, could. It's, it's, everything happened mm -hmm. so fast. Well, Lisa, they told me that it was hands down the scariest experience of their life. But on the other hand, they said if Trump were to host nearby rallies, they would still go to them because they are in that much support of Donald Trump. Wow, really shocking. and. Thankful that your family members were not. That's the most important thing that I made sure of that as soon as we found out. Absolutely.